Good morning to you. The weather is set to change through the next 24 hours. It is set to turn colder for all of us because of this weather front, a cold front. It's moving its way southwards behind it. The floodgates open for colder air to arrive. And as we head into the weekend, this one is close, bringing some rain in the northwest, but generally high pressure dominates, keeping it fine, dry, but much colder. So for the next few nights, we see the return of frost and fog, but by day, it is looking drier and brighter. This is how it looks first thing this morning, though. A lot of cloud greeting us, and that means it is generally mild. However, colder for Scotland and Northern Ireland behind the cold front in this clearer, colder air. Cloudy, grey, damp and drizzly for England and Wales this morning. That rain takes a little while to clear away, lingering onto that southeast coast for a while, but brighter skies follow. But we lose those double digit temperatures in the mild air, 14, maybe 15, further north, more like eight or nine at best. And it's this cold weather that wins out as we head through the next seven days. So let's take a look at our outlook that takes us through the weekend and into next week as well. Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern areas of England. Here's our average temperature line. Our temperatures throughout the rest of the seven days are way below that by day and especially by night. Let's look at our percentage chance of rainfall. So the chance that you have of seeing rain through northern areas through the next seven days. Today, looking relatively low, sunshine, just a few showers, much lower as we head through tomorrow. And actually, the outlook stays relatively low, just the chance of some light rain at times in the far northwest. The fortunes further south for England and Wales, away from the north of England, so south of the Humber. Again, our average temperature line is here. Average temperatures at best today, they fall way below that as we head through the rest of our outlook. Definitely grab those winter coats. You will need them as we head through the next few days and get ready to scrape those windows in the morning because it's set to be frosty by night. Higher chance of rain today, but then after that, the outlook is largely fine, largely dry. Great if you have some outdoor plans, but make sure you wrap up with this cold weather arriving. <laughs> well, she's warm up top and, um, and All right, easy. I have... And I'm crossing all it, sorts of lines. I mean, I, Andy Peters is not the person to rely on for weather information. It's mild. It's like mild. the man. It's mild. Seriously, it's pathetic. It's our weather no, because... Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. Today is the last mild day we are set to have for a while. The weather is changing. Thanks to this, it's a cold front. It brings with it rain. It moves across the country. And once it clears through, cold air will flood in across the country. Weather fronts just flirt with the northwest, bringing some rain but by and large, it is dry and it is set to turn colder. And what that means is we're set to see frost and fog by night, but drier, brighter weather to boot. So this is how it looks this morning. We still have a mixed bag. Cloudy skies across the bulk of England and Wales means it's relatively mild, but clearer skies for Scotland and Northern Ireland. A colder start for you this morning, about five degrees down on yesterday morning. Yes, we have the cloud first thing. It doesn't take long for it to clear through. Not persistent rain, that annoying nuisance value rain, particularly for East Anglia in the southeast where it stays for most of the day. It stays mild here, but behind it, yes, we get the sunshine, but also that drop in temperatures, a few scattered showers. And then tomorrow, it'll be a cold start, a frosty one, a foggy one, but at least there'll be plenty of gorgeous autumn sunshine.